Committees are back at it as well with the session this year, Senator, and one of your bills, one that deals with something you've been working on for a long time, and that's a tax credit for filmmakers in Missouri. Missouri used to have an incentive for filming movies and, and other types of films, social media and things in Missouri. However, that sunset in 2012, and basically since 2012, 2013, Missouri has had zero significant investment in making any movies or TV shows or multimedia productions here in the state. Here in Missouri, we have about 38, 39 colleges and universities that graduate students that major in media production and film production. However, we don't have those kinds of jobs, unfortunately, in our state. And so these students, graduate with their film and and media production degree and they go to work in several other states. So I was glad that we did get the film tax incentive passed this week. Basically, these production companies don't receive any incentive if there's no jobs created. And also there's a special incentive if they film in a second, third, or fourth class county. So hopefully we can get some of these TV shows and movies to come back to Missouri, utilize our skilled workforce and these, I believe, 20,000 students that have graduated in the last five years in film and media production degrees to have those students stay in the state and also have those jobs here in Missouri. Like you mentioned before, these are job creators and they're money makers too. Yes, most certainly. You know, we did not have anyone testify against the film tax incentive, and it actually voted out of the Senate Economic Development Committee with six yes votes and zero no votes. So I'm hopeful that we can get this across the finish line and bring back multimedia movie TV series production to the state. Another big item this week that saw some time in in committee and is set to see some time on the floor next week, and that's the question of redistricting. Yes. Every 10 years, based on the census, we do go through redistricting based on population shifts. I do sit on the Senate Redistricting Committee. This week, we heard House Bill 2117 that the House passed. I believe House Bill 2117 is a 5-3 district because there's a population shift going on in St. Louis City and St. Louis County, and I want to make sure that we support, in my opinion, a 7 one map. You know, we had testimony this week in the Senate Redistricting Committee. We had zero people testify in favor of what I believe is a 5 read map, and yet we had two and a half hours of testimony against the map, almost three hours of testimony against the map. After the discussion, the bill was actually voted out very quickly. It did pass out nine yes votes to five no votes. I joined to vote against the bill. Like I said, I believe that Missourians need a 7-1 map, not a 5-3 map. And I also believe that it was a disservice to all the Missourians who came in at 15 degree weather this past week and testified against the bill for three hours to just take it up and vote it out without having any changes. Another concern that I had on the bill was that it splits up the two military bases in the state of Missouri, Fort Leonard Wood and Whiteman Air Force in my district. And I believe that if you have two bases in your congressional district, like we have now in Congressional District 4, you have a permanent seat on the House Armed Services Committee. That's very important, especially with base realignment and closure that happens every so often, most recently in about 2010, 2012. And Missourians rallied support for Fort Leonard Wood as well as Whiteman Air Force Base to make sure that those bases were taken care of. They did not have any troops that were sent to other bases. And so that is one of the concerns with the current map is that it does split up our two military installations. You hear a lot about the importance of the emergency clause in this. Is that something that is necessary to have this done in a a timely fashion? I think we do want it done in a timely fashion, but the House did not pass an emergency clause on their bill that they sent over to us. And I don't believe the emergency clause is necessary for us to pass as well. So I would have a hard time right now supporting anything but a 7-1 map, and I would have a hard time probably supporting an emergency clause right now as well.